Often overlooked and taken for granted, our knees are needed for mo overall mobility, but once they start aching, you are not likely to forget them. One expert's answer is kneehab. New at 5, our food and fitness coach Lori Corbin has more on the moves to take for relief. Your knee is this hypermobile joint in between two really important structures, your hip and your ankle. Everybody needs to take care of what's uptown of the knee and what's downtown of the knee. Actually, fitness expert Jill Miller says you also have to take care of a cross town too, or the other knee. If we're compensating over time, that compensation adds up and that leaves us more vulnerable to injury on, well, actually on both sides for different reasons. She created kneehab as a way to prevent or delay physical therapy, even surgery. Many of the exercises like these kneecap lifts can be done in a chair. You can do this on the plane, at work, at the movies, in the morning first thing before you take your walk. She uses soft yoga tune-up balls to roll away and break up tension in myofascia or connective tissue that tends to tense up when stagnant or overworked. There is knee hab for rehabilitation and knee how for those without pain and wanting to keep it that way. Reinforcing we need to strengthen glutes, inner and outer thighs and ankles to stay balanced. Of course, if your knees hurt, leaning on them is is painful. So one company created these knee donuts to protect your very vulnerable patella, along with wrist wedges, because many of the exercises today are done in a prone position. You need a little layer of insulation between your fragile knee joint and the floor. So those pads help to prevent you from smacking skin and bruising bone. Towels and soft mats can help, but the patella is a floating bone, so it appreciates protection and preventative measures. LA and Instructor Miller also has a knee hab DVD that sells for about 20 bucks to help you prevent pain and improve posture and performance all in the comfort of your own home. Lori Corbin, ABC7 Eyewitness News.